Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII. I'm the Serious JG. I uh, took a little time to mess around with upgrading items, or at least playing with upgrading items, and I didn't ultimately do what I was going to do. I played around with upgraded the Brawler's wristband. Instead of being attack strength plus 50, I could get up to like a strength plus 120, but it was like using practically everything that we had, and uh, I don't think it's really worth it because I can buy the next higher uh, item of that type at Black and White Outfitters, according to the hint book, but it's not available right now. Like, I went to Black and White Outfitters and it didn't work, so apparently I just need to wait till later in the story and it will pop up. Sometimes you randomly do stuff and you get a little message that says, New inventory available. So, whatever. Let's read the data log. Oh, wow, we got a whole bunch of stuff that we seem to be missing. What? Oh. This is stuff I guess I didn't read, uh... And this is stuff I didn't read, uh... Weird. Well, when I guess when I off-screened it, I didn't stop to read anything. You know what I want to do, baby? Now, Fang, while I was trying to upgrade my stuff, said, Beat, stop working! Because she's a fucking bitch! <laughs> stop moving around for, like, a couple seconds and she gives you some, you know, bullshit. Uh, da, 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 da. We already read this. See if you're not back down. So this is when you time to split. Split and get mixed! Despite being driven to the point of suicide by the sight of the sun turning into crystal. Zaz is still alive. Oh, I was talking about Zaz, it's really over my Despite being driven to the brink of suicide by the sight of the sun turning into crystal, Zaz is still alive. Having been captured by Colonel Depart and not, he and Vanille are now on their way to eat to be executed. The only reason they still live is so they can be murdered in front of an audience. When Zaz learns that Vanille is the one responsible for his grief, he was consumed with rage. Now he listens calmly to Vanille. Only a Seraphit who fought in the war against Cocoon. Sorry, once a Seraphit who fought in the war against Cocoon. Vanille spent centuries in Crystal State. When she finally awoke, she found that her companion. Uh, I'm, trying to, I'm drawing a complete blank on any server name other than Zaz. <laughs> Fang had lost all memory of their previous focus. Afraid their new charge would culminate in another horrific battle, Vanille chose to fade memory loss in an attempt to flee from her destiny, a decision which has led to untold tragedy. Somewhat ironically, hearing Vanille's melancholy tale sparks a flicker of hope and threat. If Vanille can emerge from the crystal stasis, then maybe Dodge can, too. Stirred from his despondency by this thought, Zarge helps Vanille to overpower the cell guards and their pair begin their escape. But this time, they're not running away from their fate, they're taking charge of it. Meanwhile, elsewhere on the ship, the other Lucy battle through waves of enemy soldiers in an attempt to make themselves manifest on the Protoss home. Sure. So anyway, uh, we've now got ATB, we've got first strike, which means you have a full ATB guard gauge to start each battle, and we've got attack rate plus 10%, and we're using the Axis Blade, which means we have attack charge. So, um, we need to get some other items, replace that Brawler's wristband with another thing that boosts uh, ATB, because then we'll get ATB rate plus 20%, which would be nice. Beach don't work, bitch. Hey, Mom, I managed to sneak up on these guys, which is nice. Let's get this over. Although now with Preemptive Strike, everybody gets that power, so whatever.
That's what I did that for, folks, so we could get a barbed tail. You know, all these things are flopping around being silly. If you don't know the... N if you don't know the number of the best of soldiers by now, you really need to figure it out. Just like I planned it. I planned to have you guys do all the work and I would sneak in the blue at the end. Plan's pretty effective, I must say. So I'm looking at the map here. This is kind of a goofy layout of this area, but hopefully avoid fighting a bunch of these losers. Yeah, whatever. I decided to attack him intentionally, but I was kind of hoping that uh, maybe in doing so I would get to uh, preemptive strike. That didn't happen. Oh, we got the stagger on right off of that, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm digging on this uh, Aurora Scarf thing. If I just went with the Whistlewind Scarf that uh, I got, I wouldn't be all that hopped up about it, but the, the Aurora Scarf that I powered it up into, definitely cool. Much use, more useful like in lots of little fights like this than it would be against, you know, we got a big boss coming up. You're fighting big boss, you need to like grab together the components needed to build a uh, flamethrower of an aerosol can. That wouldn't be this big of a deal to have like one full set of turns up front in a long fight. But against lots of little guys like this, it's pretty awesome. And of course, it's giving me the 10% faster charge. It's allowing you to stagger stuff faster. Launch it, bitch. Launch it! So I'm actually waiting for her to be done before I go, because I'm now getting my turns faster than they are. And I'm probably just convincing myself this is having more of an effect than it really is. But I'm trying to convince myself the strategy that I've been, like, actually targeting for a while now. It's, it's been worth the effort. It's somehow less ridiculous when she launches stuff with that weapon than it is when snow launches stuff. It really shouldn't make a difference. Either way, it's just kind of goofy. You launch stuff up in the air like that. So what do we got here? You're not going to be like haste sandals, are you? No, of course not. Still, boy can dream. And if you're playing this game that has all these like, you know, fantasy chicks in it and you're dreaming about haste sandals, then, you know, that's... That's fine. You're not having weird dreams about lightning in the gang. This will be interesting. I guess. Huh. Interesting is that, uh, you know, a term I use rather loosely. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to. Keep the enemy off balance. Come on, then. Keep the enemy off balance. Come on, do it. Do it. Here. Thank you. Time for another Thank you. Your feet stop working. And he's dead. Change of plan. I guess we'll do some quick debuffs on him. Very quick debuffs. Diva, Diva. Na 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 na. Diva, Diva. So eventually she will get a skill that will not come up in the auto queue. You'll have to pick it manually. But it's very powerful. It's called Army of One. It's kind of like her limit break, except they don't work that way in this game. You can do it whenever you want, except that's fully meter. And that's when having, like, the, the fast-charging ATB meter will be especially handy. Because you can just spam her ultimate attack. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. You have to do it as a Ravager, not as a Commando. So I'll probably need another Commando in the deck to, uh, 
keep those chain meters going, but be, fun. be ready for the next fight. Oh, thanks for that tip, Lair Lightning. Never would have occurred to me to be ready for the next fight if you hadn't said something. Oh, I'm still getting plenty of incentive chips and stuff, so that's nice. And we get a... Looks like we get a save point down here. I don't really know why we're getting a save point. Is there a save point? Oh, no, I'm reading the map wrong. There'll be a save point after we get past all this nonsense. There's huge amounts of enemies here. Very little reason to fight any of them. Like, there's no treasures to be gotten. No incentive. You're really better off just ducking in and out. I mean, if you needed the CP, I guess you could farm them for CP, but... I'm not interested. So we ducked out of that. Saved ourselves a little bit of headache and aggravation there. Let's, uh... Head over this way to get a treasure chest, I believe. Anytime you go way out of your way like this, you'd expect there to be some kind of reward. And we did need to fight these guys in order to get the treasure chest, so it's not like Let's it's, get this over it's a huge deal that I couldn't evade them. Uh, that was, uh, normally I reserve that kind of goofy vocalization for when Neil is going, ah, but Hope also has his share of ah, noises. Over and out. What, he, he's talking to us about how he's going to launch a missile burst? Love the shoulder armor there, Lightning. Okay, so... This is why we fought those guys. You get 13 barbs. Now, it seems like you should be able to hop up on this. I mean, there's huge, huge jumps we make. Death-defying leaps all over the place. She can't step over that. Maybe she realizes that it's not safe. Then again, standing here doesn't seem that safe. Once again, there's some really beautiful graphics and locations in this game. But you basically have to play it by watching the minimap. If you try to wander around places that make sense based on the visuals of, uh, you know, your surroundings, you're hosed. Now, somewhere over here amongst these engines or whatever the hell they are, there is a treasure. Uh, I'm having a little hard time telling from the map what the best way to get there is. But I know I need to get all the way over into this far corner of this place over here, so... Let's just get on it. Ah, I was hoping to sneak up on him. I kind of dodged around like a bit of an idiot there. Why are they blocking? What the hell is that? How do they block? They're immune to lightning. What the hell was I doing? So that was just really bad. I, whatever progress has been made, it's been in spite of and not because of my efforts. I'm trying to use these area of effect spells to uh, kill them because of their numbers. Although when they split up like that, it's a total waste to do that. Kill it before it does the full tornado kick thing. Cool. And now kill before it kills him. It really does stay focused on hope. It's like, I know I'm not gonna win, but I can kill hope, damn it. Just oh. like I planned. Just like I planned to nearly die. My strategies work perfect. Alrighty. So I need to get to the end, like far corner of this area. I think it's got a treasure chest, and there's also one hanging around over here. So. Yeah, it seems like a nice place to hang out, you know. Uh, 
Oh, it's down there. Down where, Kev? Okay, so we gotta navigate this thing. I don't know what the hell these things are, other than a kind of goofy Scandinavian devil there. No, goofy uh, obstacle course for us to run, but we need to get down there to get a treasure. Is this treasure worth getting? We'll find out in a second. Uh, actually, I just peeked, and it's totally not worth getting. Oh, that was for 300 people. We almost got ourselves baked by the engine. So that was... Nope, get, get up there. That was not worth getting, and that's the only treasure to be found amongst all of that nonsense and misery. Somehow cut across here without encountering a million dudes. I'll be shocked. Yeah, they always manage to catch up with you. There's really no point in running once these guys have spotted you. This will be interesting. <laughs> Again, I use that term very loosely. Time for another approach. <laughs> Pathetic. Oh, I guess that's her way of calling them out. These guys both hang out here like I hit them both with flips. That'd be fine, but they're not really doing that after all. If I can hit them, you know. Nothing personal. Yeah, you get bonus damage, the blind side thing is when you hit an enemy who wasn't really facing you, or was kind of focusing on someone else. Like this guy seems to be, he's just like, no matter how many times I attack him, he doesn't really, oh, duh, because he's been provoked by the, yeah, uh, stupid, of course that's how it works. I was all surprised at how dumb he was being. No, that's pretty much the, the game engine at work. Change of plan. Our new plan is that you eat this. Curse didn't seem to work. Thanks. Figured it'll have to work eventually, right? Keep trying it. Wait. Okay. Sorry. I. He's immune to stop, I guess. There's some other status that looks similar to the slow that he's immune to. There we go. Yeah, I probably should have just gone to reckless assault, relentless assault a lot earlier, but. Too much about juggling them here, just finish them off. Although it is kind of good if you can uh, stop him from landing just because he does attacks that will slow down whoever's hitting him from getting to be more attacks. Oh, I didn't get to finish him off. Damn, um. So that wasn't as fast as it was apparently supposed to be. Whatever. I'm reasonably well satisfied. Alright guys. You spotted me. Good for you. Come die. Oh, you're all like forming a little human pyramid. That's pretty awesome. These guys are not immune to anything, so we could do a quick uh just for funsies, uh Slow them all down. Thank you. Let's do it a couple of times. Everyone in the world is launching missiles at the or like this all both. Thanks. 
Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have switched away from Relentless Assault. Maybe I should have tried to finish some of these guys off before they started launching the missiles. Same voice as you. Isn't that cool? Yes, I think it is cool. I'm the other guy. Yep. So, a little loopy. Okay. So, here's this treasure chest that I've been trying to get for what seems like forever. It got me another spark ring. I've already got about a thousand of those, it feels like. Putting a bunch of those on lightning is fun. It can cause her eventually to deal lightning elemental damage with her attacks, which just makes sense. She's lightning after all. Uh, why did I even try to sidestep him? Just get it over with. Nothing I can't handle. Although I would prefer to handle female. Never mind. gonna kill Hope, but, uh, that's fine. Sorry, Hope! No time to revive you! Got other things to do, you know. You still got a credit chip, but we even got five stars, even though we lost a guy. The game was just like, well, you lost a guy, but it was Hope, so who cares? Oh, cool, more plot stuff. Oh, cool! Lightning's still here. I mean, uh, snow. Well, you know, that element. So light. How you figure this makes us lucky? Wait, why are you calling because me light? I never kill told you that. One step closer to Vanille. How's that? Well, when you put it that way. It doesn't make sense, but it is appealing to me because, uh, for some reason, I want Vanille back. For some reason. Checking the time. I got uh, now. I've, now that I've got a little timer, uh, I've become obsessive about it. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, we're ready for another boss fight. So let's uh, let's, let's do it. Keep a cool head. Keep a cool head, and then get you know spanked. I should probably use uh, Libra on it, but I should be really stingy with my tech points now. Looks like it's uh, pretty easy to stagger, considering that lighting is doing it alone while we're in this uh, paradigm. Nobody else is attacking it. Yeah, once I got everybody teaming up, the stagger meter is going really fast. It's not a problem or anything. Well, it is only a mini boss, but man, this is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> so embarrassing, Fang is being forced to make little hockey noises to make it interesting for herself. Wow, 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 you, you see it. That's not a mark, by the way. It's an enemy. That's unworthy of space, Australia. Target time is 1.53. So yeah, apparently I was supposed to crush that thing in like four seconds, so... Well, not four seconds, in uh, a minute and 53 seconds. So even though I beat the target time, I apparently didn't beat it by enough. Whatever. That's fine. But I got the so font talisman! have like a second form or something. That was like nothing. Oh, there it goes. Come on. 
Is this the same one, or is this like its mother? Another one. One big fat stroke of luck after another. I'm so happy I could cry. So happy you could shut the fuck up because you're not even fighting. What are you even doing here, Snow? Tease us, will ya? Come down here. Tease me, will ya? How oh, I love it when you tease me. There we go. Now we're gonna have some action. Vanille. Vanille. Bang. This is how Australians. There you uh, are. Miss me? You the monster? Goodbye. It's obviously, a goodbye in Germany. Well, oh, I guess that's really. Not. I wanted to make that reference. It really didn't make sense. So, all right. So much so for Vanille and her friends. Uh, we haven't figured out it's a we susceptible to slow and curse. Absorb the lightning. So I guess we learned some stuff. Keep a cool head. Apparently this is going to be the real fight here. So that's the impression I'm under now. You can't really attack it physically because it's flying around. So. Ouch. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. Eat this. It's gonna hurt. New strategy. Well, though we did have, you know, didn't Thanks. hurt bad at all because we had our Come on, then. thunder damage absorb stuff. Going. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad actually. It's curse, which means it's easy for us to interrupt. little weak attacks going so that it doesn't have a chance to do its attacks. Since it's first and we're allowed to interrupt it, that seems like a good move. It would be really nice if I could interrupt this, but I don't think we can. And again, it isn't really that bad when we've got the anti-thunder damage thing applied. We are about to win this battle, so we're not about not even going to heal. Oh my god, not even heal. Once again, I beat I beat the target time. I, I don't know, whatever. I got a blessed talisman. As opposed to whatever that other talisman was. I don't remember. Except that it led to goofy references. Vanille! Vanille! Fine! Didn't we just do this? Quick, feel my... Feel my breast, honey. I'll make sure they're still there. <laughs> That's right, Copperfield Vanille. That was your nickname in school, Copperfield Vanille. <coughs> You've still got time. You've still got nice There's... buns. I mean, you still There's got nice buns. There's something I need to tell you. Just Making just... me worry like that. Worrying about we'll what talk you later, tell me. It's so sweet how they're not uh, crystal like my kid. Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> nothing. It's nice to see uh, you so, guys. Uh, I what's think I agenda? remember who you are. Uh, toppling the sanctum? No. Punching my own I hands? Mean, really? He's serious. We're gonna take down the sanctum and give Cocoon back to the people. We're gonna be the people's champions. The Falci have called the shots for long enough. If we pull this off, it'll be a miracle. Well... Good thing Lady Luck's on our side. It's Lady Luck. <laughs> the Virginia Lotto ad. You guys remember that, right? Yo, know, this is getting really old. Man, you're really I'm irritating. Grand Pulse style. So you guys are gonna not be drunk by three in the afternoon off Fosters? That would be a miracle. Boom. This 
just a little bit ridiculous. Whoa. Oh. Hey, it's turned into uh, Metal Gear Revengeance. Two button presses and you pull off a completely impossible move like that on a giant flying creature. Let's get on! Let's get on with it! That's not an elite item, you dumbass! That's a unique item! Don't you know anything? Meanwhile, that thing exists. So that's good. So, our entire party's been reunited, and more or less, they will be together for the rest of the game. Huzzah! Now that they're all together, there won't be enough dialogue for anybody. And Zaz gets the to be comic relief guy. Yeah. Lady bad luck. Woohoo! Uh. Anybody care Time that I'm about to die? To you got it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna die back here. You guys don't care. See, this make, it makes sense they're doing this because um, otherwise they wouldn't be able to show this in the commercials. And video games these days seem I to feel this need doubts. to. Yeah, okay, I'll listen but to Danielle for a minute. I also believe that if we stuck together, somehow we could change our fate. I believe a lot of dumb stuff I shouldn't believe. I was about to make a nasty uh, comment, and then I couldn't pick a religion to slam pointlessly, so I just backed off. <sighs> Come on, guys, you need to end the video. Let's wrap it up here. Dysley's through there. The Dyslerama room. We're still gonna have our talk. Well, let's survive this first, yeah? You need to learn what it means to be a woman. Your body's gonna start having changes soon. I don't want you to feel ashamed of the natural cycles of womanhood. Hey, I actually do get to pick my party. Cool, so next time, folks, we get to pick our party, which basically means uh, Hope's gonna go and Vanille's gonna come in, and otherwise it's all gonna be the same. I could have, and a part of me is kind of wishing I had, uh, picked a weapon of Zaz's to upgrade and used him instead of Lightning. The game obviously wants Lightning to be the main character, but um, considering Zaz's presence in Final Fantasy 13-2, this is, seems like it might be his only chance to shine. So I suppose once I start really getting to places where I could, if I wanted to, do another round of grinding and really get some... I mean, I could change my mind and and have Zaz be in the final party. Hell, if I really wanted to, the final party could be the inverse of my, my quote, classic party, which is all the ladies. I could have all the guys. Whatever. It doesn't matter. But uh, when we come back, folks, we will be able to make our own party, select our party without the game telling us who we need, and we will be charging forward for... It's probably going to be a pretty long video, but, um, well... I might have a short video before we get to the boss fight. Let's just put it this way. We're getting close to the end of the act. Uh, you know there's going to be a pretty big boss fight at the end of an act with this much cinematographic craziness. Uh, so as I was starting to say, it seems like video games now feel like they need to have a built-in commercial at the beginning of the game. Even though you've already bought the game, I guess because it's the age of rentals. They always have this montage of super action shots from the game near the beginning and the opening credits. And we just had, like our guys flying around on the back of some giant creature and Zaz holding on for dear life and all that. That's like the kind of stuff that they just put, pull stills of so that they can put it in the promotional materials. We've had it. And uh, it's all leading up to the big boss fight which will either come at the uh, next video or possibly in two videos if I decide to do a short video of what it takes to get the boss. Because this boss fight will be a biggie. It's coming up soon folks. I hope you'll tune in for that. I'm Mysterious JG. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.